Hey guys, Braxis here, and I'm going to be playing some Universe Sandbox 2. So this is not interesting, gave me an idea yesterday. Well, I couldn't really understand his idea, I'm sorry. But it actually did give me an idea, because you were mentioning how, like, a way to basically make all these or planets orbit each other. But I want to do something a little bit more interesting. What I want to do is, I want to make like an escalating orbit. I don't know if this has been done before, I'm sure it probably has, I don't know. But let's just place our still sun here. And let's view our habitable region. Now, by escalating orbit, I'm just kind of making that up. I have no clue what the hell that means. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I'm sure there's probably a technical term for this. But what I want to do is I want to add orbits. And what I want to do is I want to add Jupiter in the habitable zone. So there's Jupiter orbiting around the sun. And what I want to do is scale down from planets based on their size and try to make, let's say, Saturn orbit Jupiter. Not within its Roche limit, of course. That's very uh, elliptical, I don't know why. But let's add Saturn in, and hopefully not distort this orbit too much, because Saturn is a pretty big mass, and it will probably throw Jupiter off ever so slightly. But hopefully not enough to make it like fall into the sun or something. So here we go, we got Saturn. Let's go ahead and just let it orbit a few times and stabilize. Okay, that didn't work. Saturn does not want to be a moon of Jupiter. So I think Saturn is too big. It started orbiting around the sun. So let's uh, let's do this. If I put Saturn too close, it's going to make Jupiter go molten. So what I want to do is... Oh, this might actually be difficult. Because I want it to be a binary planet system around the sun. And if you guys know anything about uh, binary planet systems, it's actually incredibly difficult to make things orbit around them, like a moon or something, without orbiting completely around the entire system itself. So this might get complicated. Let's go ahead and just try throwing Saturn in. Let's just see what happens. Let's just make it orbit a lot closer. And hopefully they don't go molten. My guess is they probably will. So Jupiter is... Really cooling down. Okay, that's good. That's good. We want Jupiter to cool down. So let's go ahead and pause this here. And let's see how Saturn's doing. Negative 41 degrees. Okay, that's actually really good. Okay, so... How am I going to do this now? Neptune, I believe, is bigger than Uranus. It certainly is. So, how are we going to get Neptune in here? This is where the problem comes in. How am I going to make Neptune orbit around Saturn? Because that's basically going to be impossible. It's going to want to orbit around Jupiter every time Saturn goes close to Jupiter and trade off. It's not going to be a very good or stable orbit. But let's try adding Neptune as just a little moon of Saturn and see what happens. Hopefully this works. No, it's actually making both planets go molten. You know what? That might actually be fine as long as they don't start burning away. This actually seems stable apart from the fact that they go molten every time it passes by. Okay, let's check on Saturn and make sure it's not losing mass. Which is at 898 degrees. Is it evaporating? Its mass seems consistent. Let's check the graph. Yeah, the mass is consistent. Okay, so that works. <laughs> That's kind of not the optimal, optimal scenario that we want, but it works. Because these are not even habitable planets anyways. Now, how are we going to do this in such a way? We want to get Uranus orbiting at Neptune if possible. This is where this is probably not going to work. Let's go ahead and try it. Yeah, there goes Uranus. In fact, I've, I just destabilized the entire orbit and ruined what I had going on there. Well, dang. Well, I mean, I know I can get everything to orbit around Jupiter, but that would not be as interesting. Like, I could easily get a nice orbit going around Jupiter of everything, but yeah. Let's, uh... Replace Jupiter. Let's put Saturn orbiting Jupiter, if I can, right there. This time a little bit further out. Let's go ahead and zoom back in. Let's get Neptune orbiting Saturn. And let's just hit play and hope this works. Okay, that appears to be working. I have made Saturn too hot, though. It's probably losing mass. Let's check that. It's supposed to be 
Oh wait, that's not Saturn. No, it's not losing mass, but that is way hotter than it was before. So maybe just, oh wow, that's very close. And Neptune is still in orbit around Saturn. That's actually shocking. I can't imagine this would be stable for very long. Oh, Neptune's losing mass. So you see that? Saturn's actually gaining mass. So yeah, that's not going to work. I don't know how to do this exactly. No. Um, let's just get rid of Saturn and Neptune and leave Jupiter how it's orbiting, even though it's thrown off a little bit. That's not too important. Let's get uh, Saturn orbiting it again, right there. And let Saturn do its thing, stabilize its own orbit, and hopefully not be ejected. Yeah, that orbit's very close to Jupiter. Ah, oh, it's just got an orbit around the sun. Well, they, this is, like, you can't really make a stable orbit out of this, and if you guys know a method to actually do that, I'm all ears. But let's put Saturn really close to Jupiter and see if we can just make this a binary system. Okay, that's a binary system. Very, very hot one, but it's a binary system. Probably a bit too hot, though. Yeah, they're probably evaporating. Well, it doesn't look like it. Let's, uh... Let's get rid of these once more. This is a trial and error thing. I'm, I, I don't know exactly how to do this. I'm just experimenting. So, not really gonna be, a, like, a tutorial video of any kind. I'll tell you that much now. So, this time a little bit further. That's much better. It's probably warming up, but not warming up nearly as much. Yeah, I'm fine with that. That's fine. Okay, let's slow this down so we have better approximations of the orbit. Okay, so it is actually warming up, occasionally. At least Saturn is, but that didn't look like it was actually losing any mass. So, this is fine. So, how are we going to do it this time? Uh, should we just make it an orbit around Jupiter, perhaps? But I think Saturn's actually going to de destabilize this orbit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Saturn is definitely... Saturn has engulfed Neptune. Okay, then. Well, this is, Saturn's a little bit bigger, but let's try putting Neptune out here this time. And let's try just dropping Uranus. Yeah, Uranus doesn't want to actually go out here. Let's put Uranus around Neptune. Maybe that's how I could do it. Everything could be in pairs. No, these went in orbit around the sun. Let's get rid of those. Uranus, come on now. There we go. So let's put Neptune around these two a little bit closer. And is it actually in orbit around them? If so, I could probably drop Uranus right here. And let's just speed this up a little bit. Okay, yeah, that's that's not stable. Something just consumed Neptune again. And now Uranus is around the hot portion of the sun in a very, very uh, eccentric orbit. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, so this is proving to be a lot more difficult than I initially thought it would be. And I thought it was going to be difficult to begin with, so. Hmm. What is some type of pattern I could do here to make this actually a stable orbit? It appears like uh, putting Jupiter around here has actually started misaligning the sun slightly. But let's just do it this way. Let's put Jupiter there. And let's just make a Jupiter system, I guess. Let's put Saturn around Jupiter. Uranus around Jupiter. It wants to go around Saturn, I guess. Let's put Neptune in between these two, because why not? I'm guessing at this point. <laughs> and let's just see what happens here. Because the big thing is, is these four gas giants. I mean, I can easily just, you know, make it terrestrial worlds, but that would not, that'd be way too easy. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to fit all these gas giants in. They just tend to throw each other out. There's no real stable way to do that, I don't think. Not without the gas giants being, like, a way less mass. I'm sure if I use Jupiter, I could probably get Neptune and Uranus to orbit around, but something like Saturn, which is a very close mass to Jupiter, is very difficult. Because if I just use, like, 
Uranus and Neptune. These can essentially be moons of Jupiter since their size actually makes a little bit of sense. Yeah, can't really fit Saturn in. Saturn wants to throw everything out and also misalign the orbits of Jupiter, while these ones have little effect on Jupiter itself. So I could do that, and then I could probably fit something like Earth around Uranus, perhaps? Maybe it's orbiting too close to Neptune, it might actually consume Earth. Yeah, I just ejected something. Yeah, Earth was consumed, so Earth will not work. Maybe I could fit Earth between Jupiter? We appear to have lost Earth again. Yeah, I think Earth just got picked up by Uranus, and that's why Uranus is molten. It did totally got flung out. That is no longer a part of this orbit. Let's try to fit Earth, like, way outside these uh, orbits here. Like, a far distant moon. And let's just see if this works. So this is essentially what Pluto is to our sun at the moment. Okay. I think that is working. No, no, it's orbiting the sun. It was thrown out. And, no, we still have Uranus there. I think Uranus is disintegrating, though. Okay. So I think this is going to be a fail video, but I'm going to upload it anyways. Because I'm curious. Does anyone know an actual pattern to actually make a stable orbit, orbit out of all these? I'm genuinely curious. If so, do leave it in the comments below because I would really like to make like kind of a completely different style of a uh, solar system using like this kind of method. But I just don't really know how because it'd be really cool to have all of our like planets in the habitable region of the sun. But I just don't see a way to make a stable orbit. I mean, I could easily do something like put Saturn right there, Jupiter there, and just put everything in the green area, but... That's not, that's just not as good. I would like them like kind of orbiting each other like moons or something like that. And just for the sake of doing it, I'll uh, go ahead and just remove this. Just remove your in his way out there. Now it's out in the colder regions. I think I might have gotten rid of Neptune. Okay. For the sake of it, I'll uh, go ahead and put Jupiter kind of in the warm region of the habitable zone. And uh, let's go ahead and zoom into Jupiter and... Let's just go ahead and throw our terrestrial worlds out here. There's the Earth. There's Mars. There's Venus. And Mercury. So if I slow this down a bit, they should ho hopefully have a stable orbit. And they do. Now they're just moons of Jupiter. I mean, I could easily do something like this, but that doesn't really fit our gas giants in. It only fits the terrestrial worlds in. And now all of our planets are in the habitable region. We can live happily. I'm sure Earth is probably too close to Jupiter and is heating up from tidal forces. But nonetheless, yeah. Oh yeah, and another thing that to note about this is there would be some major temperature swings as these orbit. Our seasons would not really be based on our uh, eccentric orbit and axial tilt. It would be based on kind of our orbit around Jupiter at this point. That and Earth is probably so close to Jupiter that it's receiving a lot of radiation. Hopefully the magnetosphere could actually keep up with that. Anyways, yeah. If you guys like the video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, please do subscribe. It really does help. And I will see you guys in the next one. How's Earth doing? Not as bad as I thought it was going to do. Actually, it's a little bit warmer. That's for sure. It's sitting at 46 degrees. And that's probably due to the tidal pull on of Jupiter right there. Oh, and there's Earth's shadow actually eclipsing Jupiter. Very cool. It's just, yeah, I'd probably worry about the uh, very large amounts of radiation being casted by Jupiter. Anyways, see you guys.